Hello everybody, how are we all doing? Happy New Year! Welcome to the first video of the new year. Here is to wishing everyone the very best. I know this is a few days late, but the, the wish is still sincere for everybody. I hope that 2021 is so much better than 2020. So, till that day, let's just keep trying to do our best to keep the ones around us happy and to be safe. Wear that mask. All the stuff. All the stuff. It's just getting worse out there. So, we have to do our part to stop all this. There's no other way of putting it. But today I want to do something different. You can see I'm not in the kitchen. I got this great box from Christina, one of our subscribers. She sent me a box right when I started the channel pretty well. And it was a box of goodies. It was a box of my childhood goodies. Hostess cakes and all that fun stuff. As you know, we have our Discord room and we were talking and we, again, she asked if I had any more. <laughs> I was like, come on. They were gone in a week, you know. Um, so she sent me some more goodies. I don't know what's in here. I've got an idea of what's in here. I'm just, I've got my knife, I'm just trying to cut this open, because it is really well sealed. In fact, you know what, to try and make it easier, we're going to open this upside down. There we go. So, I'm not looking in. Um, like I said, in our Discord channel we were chatting. And we talked, we were talking about our favorite snacks and our favorite things. So, of course, I brought up my hostess fruit pies that I grew up with and I loved. And every time we went on vacation, that first stop at a store, I would load up with them. Then, later on, discovering Entman's Cakes and how good their stuff was. And she said, well, why don't you just buy it? I'm here because we can't get them here in Canada. So she's sort of been <laughs> my um, contraband snack dealer, for lack of a better term, and been sending me these great little goodie baskets with just incredible sweets, incredible goodies. So I figure, let's start. I had to record this, and just pulling up the, God, the first thing. My fruit pies. Entman's mini fruit pies. Now, these are new to me. I'd always tried the Hostess, or not tried, I always got the Hostess fruit pies. But when she sent me the link and I saw these, I was like, I, I have to go. I have to try these. So we're just going to put these aside for now until we get everything out. And then we'll come back and we'll try some stuff. So I can't wait to dig into those. If they are anything like the other sweets and the other stuff from Entman's, they're going to be so good. Oh, jeez. That was a heavy one. Even better. Entman's Softies. So what you have here, they're just donuts. But you've got a cinnamon sugar, a powdered donut and their plain donut. They also make what they call a chocolate frosted donut. And just picture taking their plain donut and dipping it in chocolate. Like, totally in chocolate. So you're getting a chocolate bar and a donut at the same time. I, in a way, I'm glad they don't sell these here because I'd be 400 pounds before I even thought about it. This box is kind of open just from being shaken around and stuff, but... Oh, they smell so good. I can't wait to get my teeth into one of those. And next. Oh, yes. Oh, 
my favorite for sure. That's it in the box. We'll put that aside. Is the Entman's Raspberry Cheese Danish. Is this raspberry cheese? No, this is just raspberry. Sorry. This is what got me on Entman's. Their stuff was so good. And we were actually in New York. I was like, yay tall. <laughs> I think I was 11, 12. We were in New York City. It was for, a birth it was for my birthday. And every morning we would go down to the coffee shop in the hotel and we'd get coffee and orange juice and bring it all back up to the room and one day the coffee shop was closed but the guy, there was a guy just outside the hotel with a push cart mm -hmm. typical New York vendor if they aren't selling pretzels or hot dogs or something in the morning they're selling coffee and donuts and all this kind of stuff and he had all the sentiment stuff out and my first try was their pineapple cheese, uh, pineapple cheese Danish. And after one bite, I was hooked. I was hooked. Half this body is due to end. <laughs> so if you if they sell Entmans where you live and you haven't tried them, try them. If they don't sell them around where you live, find someone who does get them and have them ship you some because they are so good when I was trying to find these in Canada I couldn't because they stopped selling them here but I did find they have a cookbook and I've ordered it and that cookbook shows me how to make their stuff so I can't wait to get that and start being able to make this someone's messaging me I can't wait to start making this at home and trying this out so I guess we'll start I'm just gonna put some stuff just aside and there's Foxy in the background you know what I have some you no know, I thought I had some coffee <laughs> I don't know who keeps messaging me they know I'm busy I'm gonna start off I have to have a fruit pie So, like I said, I always used to get the Hostess fruit pies, and they had, back then, we're going way back, they were about ten times the size of this. They were, like, huge. And even me, back then, I couldn't finish one at a time. Like, I'd eat half, and then 20 minutes later, I'd finish the other half. Sorry for the paper correctly. It's even in that waxy, same style paper as the Hostess ones were. So that's it. Nice. A mini, as they say. A nice bite size. But they smell really good. Hostess has some serious competition. I don't know how well I can see inside, but well, quite a bit of filling in there. Really good. Considering these have spent 15, 20 days in transit, they're still nice and fresh. They still taste really good. And yeah, they are not going to last long. Mmm. <laughs> I thought I had some coffee, but my cup's empty. Oh well. <laughs> mm. These are actually better than the Hostess ones. The flavor of the filling is like, I feel like I'm eating just a cinnamon apple. You know, a nice, fresh piece of apple pie is exactly what that tastes like. Really, really good. Edmonds hat, hat off to you. You did an excellent job. You might have even weaned me away from Hostess. But these are great. 
I'm not going to finish this on camera. I'll wait till I stop recording and then we'll destroy everything. As far as the donuts go, I know how good these are. I've eaten them so many times. I just want to try and get into this box. Like I said, these have been in transit for a while. So some have broken up a bit. But now they're just donut bites. But you can see you've got the cinnamon sugar, the plain, and in the middle you've got the icing sugar. So what I'm going to do is just grab a piece of one because I have to. Hmm. They're banged up because USPS. They're still fresh. They're still really good. That first bite, instantly I get hit with the lemon and the icing sugar. They taste so good. This in the morning, cup of coffee, late at night, after dinner, anytime. Really great little snack. So, as I've said, this is not... <laughs> A paid promo for them but if they want someone to endorse their product hello we'll gladly do it and I'll do it for free on one condition they start selling their stuff here in Canada again I miss it <laughs> so there we go it's a short sweet video really sweet with the donuts and the pies and everything but I had to say thank you ever so much to Christine for sending me this little care package these childhood memories and everything it was, it was great as always if there's something you want me to try one of your favorites uh, something just different that you don't think I can get around here after all I'm in Canada get in touch with me let me know let's see what we can work out I'll gladly taste it. I'll taste almost anything. Uh, as always, we have our snack box, our snack crate, sorry, snack crate uh, tastings. Of course, our regular cooking videos and everything. So we're all set. 2021 is going to be a big year. Sorry, I'm drooling from that donut. This is going to be a big year. Everyone makes New Year's resolutions. Well, my resolution was to hit those 1,000 subscribers. Now, for me to do that, it takes all of you. I need you to like the videos. Comment. Say anything. Tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you don't like about it. Share it with your friends. Share it on your Facebook, your Twitter, wherever, but share it. Because the more that the videos get out there, and the more that people see, the closer I get to my thousand. And when I hit that thousand, I've got really big plans. But I have to get there first. And like I say, to do that, I need your help. So don't forget, hit that like button, leave me a comment. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell people walking down the street. It doesn't matter. Just get the channel out there. So I'm going to thank you all for stopping by. Quick little sweet video. But we do have cooking videos coming up this weekend. We have our snack box video. Hopefully coming up in the next few days. I'm just waiting for it to arrive. It's late because of USPS. Seems everything's late because of USPS, but that's another story. And again, hit that subscribe button, comment, tell me what you like. Read the description down below. You'll find our link to our Discord. You'll find our shop if you want to buy a shirt or a sticker. There's tons of stuff there. We have you covered. So, until next time, I am Andrew, I am the 5pm Chef, and we'll see you all then.